loudspeaker systems require three things to make them work. A music source, an amplifier, and a crossover network. But the position and design of the crossover network determines whether the system is considered to be passive or active. In a passive loudspeaker system, the crossover, which is used to divide the incoming high-level music signal from an amplifier into the frequencies best suited for each of the drive units, is manufactured using a combination of capacitors, inductors and resistors. The crossover circuit is more often than not positioned within the loudspeaker cabinet. Its operating frequencies are fixed and only one amplifier is required per loudspeaker, or a stereo amplifier for two speakers. Passive loudspeakers are traditionally more popular in hi-fi circles because they allow choices to be made over the amplifiers and the cables used. An active system sees the crossover circuit positioned before the signal is amplified, splitting the low-level music signal as it emerges from the source before it reaches the power amplifier. The crossover is considered to be electronic or active as it requires power to operate. The split signal is then fed to individual power amplifiers for each drive unit. This is clearly a more complicated approach, but one that ultimately has considerable benefits, provided it's implemented with quality components and careful attention to detail. In a passive system, a single amplifier has to handle the complete spectrum of audio frequencies, from controlling the low frequency demands of pipe organs and drum solos, to reproducing the delicate phrasing of a lead vocal, or the cadenzas of a violin concerto. The amplifier's output passes through several components in the crossover before finally arriving at the drive units. These components have to cope with the high voltages and large currents delivered by the power amplifier and their robust construction causes numerous problems. At high levels, inductors can overload and cause distortion, while capacitors may reduce resolution and detail. These losses and imperfections make passive crossover design difficult to perfect. Component quality, matching and layout require careful attention to produce the highest quality passive crossovers for use in PMC loudspeakers. With well-designed active systems, the power amplifiers are chosen for their specific roles. For example, a high current amplifier would be used on the bass driver. Direct coupling the amplifiers to the drive units also provides superior control of the units and helps damp unwanted resonances, improving transient performance, reducing coloration, increasing resolution and detail, and lowering distortion. Active systems can consist of separate amplifiers and crossovers, which are rack-mounted, as with our BB5 XBD system, or they can be integrated into the speaker cabinets, as with products like our AML2. It's worth remembering that a well-designed passive system will sound better than a poorly designed active system. Active isn't a guarantee of quality, as poor quality amplifiers are sometimes used. But implemented properly, it does provide a much better performance than a passive speaker ever could.